and who was in charge of chief being sinners because we all know the devil is a lie exactly we all know that satan is a deceiver exactly and with nothing in that court no, no kind of truth it was no truth was stated in that courtroom anytime the truth tried to come out objection no irrelevance we can play now one video when y'all seen his innocence was proven no. in every video that I just want to say. Just, no, no, just I, direct, it, direct it to me, please. Not to I'll, I'll direct it to you. I'll direct it to you. Okay. <clears throat> Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm not answering any questions of yours, Mr. I forgive you. I forgive you, and I still love you. I forgive you, and I still love you. I got no nothing in my heart. I'm not mad at you. I'm not upset with you. I forgive you. I want you to know I still love you and forgive you. And kiss my baby girl and let her know I love her. And I love y'all. I would never, I don't, I don't have no, I promise you, you know how I am. In my heart, you know how I am. I still love you. I still fuck with you. I still love you. All right. I still. I got that. And no hate on you. Okay. No hate. Is there anything else? My heart's light. Light as a feather. I promise you I love you and I'm still here. I, I ain't miss one lick. I see what y'all doing and I want you to know I forgive you. And i see y'all in the end. All right. Thank you. I love you. I love you. All right. Thank you. Has an inability to see his own shortcomings, which means he would never change, which means he should never be in the vicinity of a normal functioning human being. I personally believe that all mistakes are forgivable if a person has the courage to admit that they even made a mistake. And I will say, Judge, this is I've met some unique people in my life, but this is the very first time that I believe that I've ever met a psychopath in real time. And that's all I got to say. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So listen, before I jump into the video, let me start this out with some positivity. I want to send some love and positivity to each and every one of my supporters out there that's rocking with me and supporting me and supporting my channel and everything else that I'm involved with. I really do appreciate y'all genuinely. I'm just wishing that everybody out there have a good day today and I'm wishing everybody the best. I'm wishing peace and prosperity upon everybody who supported me and rocking with me. But anyway, go, let's get straight into this situation. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to ruffle a couple of feathers and I really don't give a damn because I'm going to keep it 100% honest as I can keep it. But basically, long story short, a lot of people are <clears throat> rejoicing and happy about Nature Boy um, Eligio Bishop receiving a life sentence without parole he was off for seven years and for those who don't know what's going on i'm gonna give y'all a brief summary synopsis on everything that took place with this situation 
And uh, I want to know y'all honest thoughts and opinions. I'm not here to advocate or justify anything that anybody has done, but I do want to give y'all the facts because I see a lot of false narratives being spread around on the internet about the situation that took place. So long story short, Elegio Bishop, Nature Boy, AKA, um, basically was in nature, you know what I'm saying? He started doing certain things in the wilderness and stuff like that, went on a spiritual journey, you know, just basically doing what he wanted to do with his life, basically. And ultimately, people wanted to join him. And nowadays, when it's a group or a collective of people, they try to make it like it's a cult and stuff like that. And this situation right here turned into that because he had people that was going with him, doing what he was doing, listening to what he was saying and abiding by his rules. But a lot of that stems from being in his house, living with him, stuff like that, you know. Now, he was getting money from some of the people that was there, true enough. But ultimately, people wanted to be there. He tell you who he is before you get there. He tell you that his, he tell you about his sexuality. He tell you what he into. He tell you what y'all finna do, and you can watch on a day to day basis of what's taking place, right? So you know, um, I was getting videos sent to me consistently. People was messaging me back then, and I didn't want to talk about it because I just basically just seen that people was doing what they wanted to do at the end of the day. They was going over there, following him and doing what they wanted to do when they got over there. Now, some of the things that I did see over there, I did not agree with. Y'all already know how I am when it comes to people being assaulted and stuff like that. I don't rock with that at all. I'm totally against it 100%. Anything that got something to do with children being harmed and stuff like that, or being in an environment that they shouldn't be in, I'm not with that at all. You know, but um, people are saying that he was uh, taking advantage of kids, like raping the kids and stuff like that. He wasn't doing that, bro. That's a lie. I was watching. I was watching faithfully, too. So I know what the hell I'm talking about when I say what I say, because people were sending me shit so much. I had, I couldn't do nothing but watch. You know what I'm saying? They were sending me their lives and everything. And it was kind of intriguing to see what the hell was happening over there as well, too. But um, he wasn't doing it to no kids. He was saying certain things that wasn't appropriate. I'm going to keep it real. I didn't like it. Saying that, um, you know, he would mess with his baby mamas in front of the kids and stuff like that. Basically trying to put... The wilderness, like the wilderness, you know how animals do shit in front of the kids and stuff like that. He's trying to, like, trying to implement that into what he was doing, but you can't do that. Humans are humans, and they're going to do what they want to do. I didn't rock with that shit at all. But people are saying he was messing with the kids over there. That's a goddamn lie. That's a lie. But, um, you know, there's some victims over there as well, too, so I'm not going to shy away from that. But he's admitted to his wrongs in these cases as well. But the main thing that I was seeing that I really didn't like was... How the people that was in cahoots with what he was doing going against them now. You feel me? But, you know, hey, people do have their turning points in their life where they want to do certain things. But I'm going to tell y'all some real shit right now, though. And some of the people might be mad at me. I don't give a fuck, though. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. The dudes that was over there, they testifying because he done mess with their women. All of the women that went over there wanted to mess with him. But he didn't want to mess with them. You know what I'm saying? They want to go mess with Nature Boy. They came over there for Nature Boy and stuff like that. When they got there, he started messing with them. And he sent them right back to their men. And the men would accept it. They would be down with it. But, you know, deep down in the inside, they were really harmed and hurt. You know what I'm saying? And broke down about it. That's just evident. But they were playing cool because they was all trying to be there. They didn't want to leave. They didn't want to go to work. They didn't want to do certain things. So they just stayed there. So with them staying there, they ultimately ended up just making things worse because they started getting involved with everything he was doing they messed with a transgender together yes they was messing with transgenders together they was smoking drinking together they was doing everything helping recruit people over there all type of different shit you feel me so i'm just saying it to say that a lot of the testimonies are not 100 percent authentic but the victims who are victims they probably was telling their truth i don't want to go against nobody who was a victim but the people who was in cahoots, I don't respect that shit. Y'all was doing the same shit he was doing, bro. That shit lame as hell. Now y'all want to act like y'all innocent and y'all came, y'all had y'all a goddamn spiritual awakening and all the other type of shit. Now y'all ride, nah, it don't, it don't work like that, bro. We watched y'all, we seen y'all, and I feel like they, if he going to be charged, they should too. That's the only thing I got to say about this. Anything else, hell, he's a grown man. He chose to deny the um, plea agreements and shit like that. He got to go through the trials and tribulations on his own. It is what it is, but as far as like, some of the people that's trying to lie and say that he was messed with the kids, nah, that ain't, nah, that ain't what's up. But if people was over there getting taken advantage of, like, sexually and stuff like that, I can understand it. But some of the people are going to be mad because they wanted to be, I think, a chief this. That's what they was calling them back then. This was a long time ago. I'm just now starting back to catch up on what's happening. But 
Like the women would be mad if they couldn't be the chief this and they'll start doing all the other type of shit, going crazy and stuff. Now they would say he was doing false imprisonment. I seen with my own eyes multiple times, he telling these people, you can leave. You can leave at any time. He don't want to hold nobody hostage and shit like this. So it is what it is. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on it. I'm not justifying shit that he did, but I am going to separate bullshit from the truth because my supporters hit me up and they want to know and we're going to talk about this shit. I done got 10 video clips asking me my thoughts and opinions on it. Some people ask me what the hell is this? What's going on? Did I know about this? And yes, I did. I seen it a long time ago. I just didn't want to talk about it. But overall, I got the wives and stuff like that speaking about the situation and uh, telling their side of everything. And I got the full testimonies of everybody as well in this video also. So y'all might want to stick around and watch the full entire thing in its entirety. That way y'all can get caught up on every single aspect of what, what they're saying and what they're responding to and shit like that. But uh, if you do watch the full thing, let me know what you think about everything. And like I said before, I'm not here to justify or take up for this man at all. But I am going to separate the bullshit from the lies. And he wasn't messing with them kids. He wasn't trying to take the kids. But he was doing shit that he shouldn't been doing around the kids too though. We're going to keep it all the way 100. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and I'm gonna holler y'all later on another video. So right. we know that everybody, we know everybody seen what happened yesterday and the verdict that came up. And the question is, who, who did that? Was that something of God? Did God do that? Or the devil Satan because we've all been watching this case we've taken our time to make videos clear to show yes all of you all of you guys have been watching from the very, very beginning. beginning we have been posting it making sure that y'all are aware everything of the maliciousness of the maliciousness every step of the way every time they did something we pointed it out just so that it could be put on record yeah y'all been watching carbonation chief online for years, for years. some of y'all for years and y'all have been looking into his life you guys seen all these people y'all seen true sheba y'all seen sheba online every single day y'all know the hearts of these people y'all know these people very well y'all have developed and lived vicariously through us for years <laughs> and 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 the crazy you know what the crazy thing is that when these people was with us y'all used to hate on them on a regular basis hmm. now all of a sudden that they doing something that is not right exactly y'all are supporting that and that's what well we came to that question who was in charge of chief being sinners because we all know the devil is a lie exactly we all know that satan is a deceiver exactly and with nothing in that court no, no kind of truth there was no truth was stated in that courtroom anytime the truth tried to come out objection no irrelevance we can play now one video when y'all seen his innocence was proven no. in every video that we made and put together it was it's all, all over, over our page. page it's all over youtube it's all over instagram go to natureboytv.com uh, exactly. you see it on the website exactly and it's like even when i was up there we trying to get videos played for our defense you got to think about it this is bigger than nature boy mm -hmm. y'all just literally just watched how corrupt this, this system, system is. is what y'all seen yesterday was a lynching a modern, a, day. Lynch mob. A, a modern day that was a lynching right in front of the world and 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 we have a lot of people who is supporting that and i don't understand why y'all just seen what they did even though despite all of the evidence despite all of the evidence i don't see i never have seen somebody as hated as this more than donald trump hmm I don't understand it. Even even the way that the judge ended up, like, I was on the stand. I, that, our lawyer was trying his best to trying. play videos to, for our defense. Even though y'all know we have a lot of stuff that defends him and that exonerates him from these charges. Yeah. And they're trying to play this. The detectives interview, they wouldn't play that. Why, they, why would they play 
Natiri interview with the detectives, but not play chief interview. No, they played. They played chief interview. Yeah, right, right, right. They didn't play the. Why didn't they play chief interview? But they played. They, well, they did play chief. They played yeah. chief interview. They didn't play. Natiri. Her interview with the team. Because she is being persuaded and they know this. Yes. They don't want... They, this is something that they are trying to hide yeah. from the public to be known. This is something that they're trying to cover up. They don't want y'all to see it. Mm -hmm. Because this is something that exonerates him. If they played that video, it would exonerate him immediately. Yep. Because one, I, I don't understand how somebody can get a sentence like that. When a girl said that they made love, that it's is a fake, fake charge. charge. Y'all heard. That's bogus. Y'all know. Y'all, yeah. I have seen everything. Okay. Y'all know this girl. Yeah. Y'all done seen all the times that she was throwing her ass up in the air and how much she wanted to compete and be with us and be with him. And I don't think that it's fair no, that somebody no. could even have... The, there's people that actually this happens to and they get lesser and they charges. don't get charges like this they don't end up with life sentences without the possibility of, of parole but this is not this is not the end this is far from it yeah. i'm gonna tell you right now it's far from it mm -hmm. we're gonna have to appeal this decision we we're to. gonna appeal this because it's not right and everybody has seen it everybody knows and you could see the the intention not only of the detectives but of the judge judge stacy hodgins at the end was like you're a master manipulator and all you don't even know him you don't even know him these people who are so close to chief know his heart the the thing is when you come into chief life and you come into your natural environment something happens called shadow work that's what it is when you are cleansing yourself and you are getting more in tune with yourself the years and years and years of generational curses start flying out it's not it's not and pretty. you put in a situation where you gotta work on them and because chief just showed everybody who they are they just don't want to take responsibility and say he's the bad guy yes. when they going up on that stand they point point even the finger the at court, him look even in the court he showed everybody who they was he, he showed, showed the everybody judge, he showed the this. prosecutor who she yeah. was he showed all of those people exactly who they was yeah. Devils. Devils. Deceivers. Liars. Yeah. 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 They said in the scripture, and I know y'all, I know you seen Sheba. Never. What did she do to Sheba? What did he do to y'all? The fact, the fact that they sit up there and lie. The fact that they y'all been up here, y'all been here the whole time, right? And he didn't even he didn't even fuck with you. But like he that. still let her come around. He still let you come around because you wanted to be with him. Everybody know, everybody know that he didn't fuck with Sheba like that. But Sheba went up there and did the most. Like they was a, an actually a, a, a kind of romantic relationship. I was like, damn, that's a bit much, right? He didn't do nothing to you. Yeah. He didn't do nothing to you. Y'all have y'all must have been forgetting that we was here and the way that we was treated up on that stand was not right. That's not how you do people. The judge was yelling at me. The day was when it was our turn to speak. We was not treated the same. It was very biased. They treated me like shit. They did not let me get my my put my story out or my story across without calling me a liar. How is my truth a lie? How is what I saw from my old eyes a lie? 
Now, what if Booker, our lawyer, would have called and said Natiri was a liar? Mm. Oh, my God! How would that have worked out? He would have looked like the bad guy. But no, they could sit here and call me a liar when I'm speaking my truth and I'm speaking the truth of what happened. Being shut down through all angles. But look, I'm going to pull up John 4. John 4 says, we go to it. God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. Jesus said. And he shall worship you in the spirit of truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The way, the truth, and the light. That's in the Bible. Where was the truth at in court? Because God says that he is the truth. So how was this an act of God? This couldn't be an act of God because God says I'm the way, the truth, and the light. But nothing in that womb was so truth. It wasn't the truth. We weren't able to show the truth. This is a malicious prosecution. We showing y'all the truth on our page. Y'all actually seeing the truth live when it's happening. How? Y'all been watching for years. Imagine how many other black people that are that are not high profile that they doing this doing too this that too. don't have a voice and they that don't have quiet. a platform yeah. they tell you to be quiet and then they just railroad you yeah. if they could do this to him publicly they showing you what they showing the corruption what do you think they doing behind the scenes to people to millions of people this same thing people is buried they forgot about in these places we we are lucky enough to have a platform and a voice to show you guys what's happening. Yeah. We're you lucky. Know what? This case don't wasn't even about the charges. This case was about chief speaking the truth. And speaking the truth. A lot of truth. people are saying that we're loyal, that we're sticking by his side. We are a family. Like we family. What do you expect? Like, these people, Poppy, he becomes an easy target because he's a strong, powerful figure. He an easy target. And he got a big heart, so people take advantage of him. And then they sit here and they, they look at us and they want us to turn on them. For what? Y'all spreading lies. Y'all being deceitful. Y'all lynching your own people using the system. That, that's crazy. I can't be a nut, part of nothing that's fake. I can't be a part of that. Because I'm going to die a real one. I'm going to ride for him to the end. I'm not giving up. Because We're we know we know his heart. We know who he is. I don't even like, I don't even understand like how, I, how y'all could even look in the mirror. Like, because if it was me. And, then, and that was the that other end. Nobody. I couldn't even look at myself in the I mirror. I wouldn't feel good Knowing that myself. I did that. Knowing that I lied on somebody. Knowing that I just... I, 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 I took away his freedom with a lie. With a lie. Life in... It what? say right here. It say right here in John 8 and 44. Mm-hmm. You belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires. Hmm. He was a murderer from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Not holding to the truth. Has nothing to do with the truth. For there is no truth in him. Hmm. There was no truth in none of these people there. Hmm. They had an agenda. They had an agenda. It was all From the very beginning. This is all a setup. You you, You don't predict when a trial is supposed to end. How do you how does the judge say this is going to be over by Friday? How do you know that? So, you actually this was a whole setup. Mm-hmm. Like like everybody said when it was malicious prosecution. Malicious prosecution. Mm-hmm. 
They refused to let that interview be played. They refused. We didn't play no videos. The prosecutor going there playing all these videos, just like the what, just like the trolls, taking a few seconds. Don't know what Chief was talking about. That his character show. showing he y'all know that we do all these characters. They get a clip from the three guy and just like yeah, confusing the jury and painting this picture out to the jury. The judge, Stacey Judge Hydrick, is a manipulator. You manipulated that whole situation, only showing the jurors what you wanted them to see. And so you can end. get a conviction of what she, what she wanted. Because what she said at the end, that's how she felt in the very beginning. She denied us bonds a total of six times. Why? Because we got a charge in Hawaii for quarantine, but now you're walking in a court with COVID. Like... It's all about how they feel about Chief, like. And it wasn't. It it wasn't just. It wasn't based on truth. It wasn't based on justice. It was very biased. That video exonerated him. If they would have played that interview with Natiri, you would have heard it. Then everybody would have known that they put a. Warren did not say nothing that she said to them in that interview that recording they were supposed to come to her for revenge porn man they didn't have no idea of these charges mm -mm. she didn't have no idea not even in none of the uh, none of the interviews ever mm -hmm. still to this day she said it that she didn't even say it never said it out her yeah, mouth they planted that in her mind it started from the tea do you know that? Do you feel that? Do you know that that was this? And she's like, no. What do you know? I just felt like it was fake. And then the T sent that interview to the detectives. And the detectives is like building off of that. Like, what well, did you say? No. And she's like, well, I mean, I just gave it to him because I care about him. And he's like, well, at any point, did you tell him no? And she was like, well, I said my Uber was outside. And he just keep on and keep on and keep on. She still didn't say it. And he wrote it in that arrest warrant that he forced himself in her when she never said that. And then when she go in court and testify, she's saying all this extra shit that she never even said. Her testimony totally different, but totally different. That's what they should have talked about in a detective interview. She's saying, I said no, and then I, bitch, why didn't you say that in the interview with the detectives? This was all a setup. Her stories changed so much. She ain't never said nothing about convulsions, nothing like that. If they would have heard that interview, then he would have been Chief exonerated. Been out. But they did that. They set that up so that only the prosecution side could get their stuff in. Yeah. If you understand the way that people's mind works, is that you go in based off of visuals. That's more memorable. Yeah, that's why so they that's wanted why to go they back they and watch the video. to videos. deny our yeah. stuff from getting in because they didn't want that impression on them. All the that the jury had to work on was the evidence that they gave. Was the evidence was that nothing. they gave. But to deliberate, they had what they gave, but we wasn't allowed to put anything in there that exonerate him or that would be able to create that doubt. Now, on, now they didn't have anything anyway. They did. They didn't have anything anyway. There was so much doubt. She went up there and lied, perjured herself many times. Got off of the stand when she started to get pressure. Did yep. you notice how the detectives said they didn't check any of the devices? The DA was scrambling they stuff took, to get a build a case. They, they took scrambling. about more than 20 devices. They, they took didn't all check of our none phones, of them. Laptops, iPads, didn't check nothing. But in his interview, they asked for his pen and he gave it to them. They still didn't oh, check. Half it. of the work is done. You would have seen you all the text the messages if they went in his all phone. All you had to do is just go open it and re and look. And you would have found nothing It's in there. probably a lot of evidence in there that helps us because you will see the conversations with Chief and the Terry in there. Exoner probably, that probably exonerate him too. Exactly, but this was a setup. It was a setup. It was a setup for the beginning. It was a setup. And the reason why they didn't do the detective work is because they knew what they were going to do They didn't the care. Beginning. Yeah, they didn't care. They just wanted, oh, we got him? Bet. That's all we needed. They, they don't care. They wasn't mind, seeking no justice. They already had their mind made up. That judge, she had her mind made up.
She didn't like us. Yeah, she had her mind made up. She had her mind made up. That's why she was moving like that in court. If he, if Chief done showed you anything, he just showed you how corrupt this system is. Yep. How they could do this and this could happen to any one of you, anyone that you know. Yeah. And you just seen it firsthand, blatantly. This whole case has been hearsay. How can you give somebody a life sentence plus 10 years and no parole when you ain't got no motherfucking evidence? That's crazy. And when you put it in an appeal, they are using all the evidence that was presented at trial. So now we have to find a, a good appeal lawyer to really break this case down. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff for appeals. Like, we got the interview. Yeah, we got the interview. We got we all the paperwork. Be, yeah. Look, we gonna be exonerated from this. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff that happened in our favor. Ain't no way. Y'all, the public, y'all done y'all seen see the, the truth. truth. Y'all see it. Seriously. Y'all seen this firsthand. Y'all done seen it go down. And if he ain't do nothing to... If he didn't do nothing, he just exposed to y'all how corrupt this system is. And why he left in the first place. This system ain't for us. This system has never been for us. But when we get emotional, we know this system ain't for us. And we embedded with a self-hate so deep, we will use the system to kill our own self. We will use the system against each other as a weapon when we feel some type of way. When that system will do the same shit to you. True, Solar, they'll do that same shit to you. Natiri, Velvet, she, but them police don't give a fuck about you. They'll drag your ass if you did something that go against what they want. They don't give a fuck about you. Talking about, oh, if you talking about telling Chief if he had more remorse. That bitch ain't got no, no remorse. remorse. They lied on him. Why he got to sit here and have remorse for? He's very confident in the truth because he didn't do it. But here's the question to all the Christians in the court. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Would Jesus have done what the judge did? Hmm. That's what they can't say. that question. There's only one God, one God. Well, who God do you worship? Because you lying. Would Jesus would have done what the prosecutor did? But one thing I do want you to check and peep out is how Chief responded to everything. Mm. He said, I he love said, you. I love you. I forgive you. I forgive you. My heart is light. And you know what? They couldn't take that. The judge, she snarled. That made them more angry. She turned her lip up. It made her angry. They were the Antichrist. That is the Antichrist. Chief is the Chief real is Christ. Chief is the real Christ. He gave love. And they snarled they lift up at him. Forgiveness. In the Bible, Christ was against this system. He went in the churches flipping over tables. They brought him up to the Pharisees in the courts of law. And they judged him. And they said they got rid of a murderer. Mm -hmm. They got rid of a murderer. Now, I got a question. I got a question for y'all. And I'm going to see who's going to answer it. Let me see who... I'm about to see who's smart up in the building. Okay. I'm about to see. What was Christ... What was Jesus crucified for? Why did they kill Jesus? I want to see who's smart in the building. Anybody know? Why did they crucify him? Why did they crucify Jesus? Why did they crucify him? Why did they let a mur- murderer go and pick Jesus to be crucified? They let a murderer go. Someone who was a terrible person in the town. They said, he can go. We want him. Why did they crucify Jesus? They said because he said he was God. Hmm. Okay. For blasphemy. Blasphemy. Yeah. They said you are God. You are merely, merely a man claiming to be God. What did they say throughout that courtroom? There's only one God. Y'all heard it. That was they. So this is very, teaching. very biased. His due process was not was not there. This is the same spirit that killed Christ. That's right. The same spirit. Yeah. There was no due process in that court. Yes. There was none of his constitutional rights. Yeah. So guess what? Mm. Was Christ considered a cult leader in his day? Because he, he had a lot a of followers. Because he went against the system. 
he went against the churches. He went around and traveled and spoke the word to many people. People worship Jesus. Was Jesus a cult leader? People believe he had disciples. Was he a cult leader? Yeah, Christ died because he was a cult leader. Exactly. He had a group of people following him. And what the hell happened in that courtroom? What happened? Yeah. This is prophecy. Nothing, nothing is new under the sun. This is a rewriting. It's a rewriting of, of time. Of scripture. Because and in you're that seeing day, it firsthand. Yes, exactly. Because it, back in that day, they would be considered that the same as today. Jesus was considered a destructive cult leader, breaking their laws back then. Yep. Okay, that's why he broke the Sabbath. Yep. That's why he was crucified. Yeah. Yeah. You got to pay attention. And everybody attention. celebrated. They, had to, they said that they had to stop him because of his what? Influence. His influence. Yep. And that's what they this did This had in that nothing to do with those charges. Even in the detective interview, he said... This guy thinks he's God. He's not a good man. He thinks he's God. And then that's been a meat of this whole case. The whole thing. And then what happened to the disciples? That's another good question. They all what flew. happened to the disciples? Many disciples desert Jesus when he got in trouble and, and they started trouble. to crucify him. They said, You are a disciple of Jesus. Are you not a disciple of Jesus? What they do? Who claims that he's God? He said, No, I do not know that I don't man. Know him. I do not know that man. I don't know him. They asked him three times. They denied him. They turned their backs. Yep. Yep. And before that happened, Jesus said, he told Peter, you would deny me three times before the rooster crows in the morning. You would deny me. This is a hard teaching. Who will understand it? Because if you, when you walk in with Christ, the same hate that Christ gets the people. The people are gonna hate you the same way. Exactly. And everybody say they Christians, but when it comes down to being Christ-like, these people that's attacking us, this isn't Christ-like. It's not. Going in these courts lying isn't Christ-like. It's not. It's really not. That's the actually the opposite. It is Satan. That's why we asked in the beginning. Was it Who, God? Was this God? Or was are, it and that's why Poppy said, Are y'all happy? Are you happy? Will you sleep better at night? Will your life be better now? I still love you. That's what Jesus said on that cross when they beat him. At his last breath, he said, I still love you. Mm -hmm. I still love you. Yeah. Yeah, so right now, we are and getting into this appeal yeah look we need y'all to run up these donations like we need all of the support that we can please reach out to us we got 30 days we, to file we an need appeal. this help like we need to file an appeal because this is not right if you gonna stand for anything if you gonna stand on the truth and you see what's happening ain't no way you gonna let this happen ain't no way you gonna let this slide ain't no way we not we have 30 days to appeal this decision. So if you have any information, send it our way. Yeah. Send us a message. Donate. Donate. Because we need to get a, 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 a lawyer. Fast. It's like Very quick. fast. We only this have is coming one up month. fast. Yeah. So please run up the donations. Yeah. Hit us in our inbox. We will personally give you our our cash app or whatever payment forms of payment. We will give it to you so that you can donate to the cause yeah. because we're standing for the truth yeah. here. OK, and everybody has seen what the truth is right now. Right after we get off of this live, we about to get on the phone with these lawyers. Yeah. We're handling business. Yeah, we really want to appeal lawyer that's nationwide and not in Georgia. Like. We are looking for that, but, you know, we just want the best appeal lawyer. We, we trying to look for the best. Yeah. Yes. It's crazy. So, hit us in the inbox. And all you, you demons out there, don't even pull up. Don't. Mm -mm. 
we not see you. stupid. We see you from a mile we away. We know y'all trying to attack us, trying to hit in our inbox saying all this shit. Nah, no. where was y'all at during these two years? If you ain't been here these two years, and don't we think don't that know you. just because Chief ain't here, we not stupid. No, we stand okay? strong. Okay? We've been here for years, and we yeah. are not weak. We, not we are weak. very strong. We are some riders and we gonna be here to the end. Yeah, we're gonna we stand, stand on what we stand you. on. This is what we stand on. And no matter what happened, you still stand on your morals and principles. A they said do your loyalty have an expiration date. Loyalty don't have an expiration date because I stand on the truth of what I stand on. And guess what? A lot of people they talk a lot of good game. They say they'll ride with you to the end. They say they're gonna be there with you, but when the shit hit the fan, mm. you look around. You look to your left, you look to your right. Is they still a fan? Yeah. Is they still there? Is they still helping you, holding you down mm. when times get tough? Mm. What happened when your dogs start hissing? Mm. Now we in what a happened? war, you ain't on the side with me. What happened when your dogs start hissing? Mm. Like a snake in the grass. Mm. Yeah. Don't take that route. That, ain't, that don't end up good for nobody. Like, if you're going to stand on something, stand on the truth. Stand on for what is right. Yeah. Everybody done seen the truth. We put the truth out there. We made it clear. Mm -hmm. We're not turning our back on Jesus. We mm -hmm. ride it all the way to the end. Yeah. All the way to the end. Yeah. We're going to we be war. here. So yeah. run up the donations. Yeah. Because we need the support. Run it. Run yeah. the donations. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting. Hmm. Okay. Y'all run it up with the donations. Run it up. Okay. Now. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. 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 let us All right. All right. Well, I I can see Mr. Bishop. Do you have that link? I'm going to test. I think we need to log off and log back in. The connection on the the screen that is displaying for everybody doesn't show all the doesn't have everybody on um, video video. Thank you. All right. Did you want me to end the Zoom? Well, or get IT and try to figure out why people are, I can see them. I can see Kendra and Velvet and Solar and Aaron. Well, Aaron has a picture. I can see them on the laptop, but I don't see them on the main system. And the same with Mr. Bishop. Can you, if you can come in here, you can, you'll, be able to see what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, thanks guys. Just hang tight for a minute. You see how I can see here and here and See what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I mean, I can see them. Yeah. So, are you guys okay going forward with just me being able to see them? Oh, as far as on the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can, okay. can we jail the computer and the screen that they're looking at? Are they able to see the witnesses? Are you able to see the witnesses in the jail? Um, I'm able to see one, two, Three witnesses, and Aaron D is actually not visually seen. Right. His but I can actually see the courtroom as well. So it, okay. So you can see the three women and the, like, Velvet Marquez, Kendra, somebody's iPhone, and then Solar Ray. Can you see all them? Yes. Yes. Okay. They can see the witnesses. The, uh, the state has no issue okay. going forward with this current situation. All right. Mr. Booker, are you okay, or do you want to be able to see the witnesses? I'm fine without saying the judge. Okay. 
restart. All right, we're just going to restart it. I'd rather have everybody. Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to, the courtroom is going to disappear for a moment, I think. All right, and it, I'm still here. Let me turn on my video so y'all can see me. Okay, I'm still here, and we're just going to reconnect the Zoom. Here. Technical difficulties. Somebody, whoever's connected on iPhone, um, you're, it looks like, are you driving? If so, I need for you This to meeting to is you. being recorded. Sorry. I need for you to pull over just so that it's, everything is safe. I don't like folks zooming while they're driving. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. So, Mr. Ray... You can just find a place to sit. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Coveting. And yes, Your Honor. By way of evidence, the state uh, does have the testimony of at least uh, three individuals who'd like to briefly address the court. I believe Ms. Newell is um, still making that decision, but sure. we'll go forward. Um, Kendra, are you ready? All right. You can unmute, please. There you go. And we swear in. I will, Your Honor. Ms. Carter, if you could raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you'll give the court today will be the truth? So help you God? I do. All right, you can put your hand down. If you'd introduce yourself once again, please, for the record. Uh, my name is Kendra Carter. All right. Ms. Carter, do you... What, or what do you want to tell the judge as she considers what an appropriate sentence is for Mr. Bishop? Um, well, I wrote something, but should I not read that? You can read with, if you want to read what you wrote, that's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> for the past two years, I woke up in the morning relieved that it was just another nightmare and that I am not actually still in the cult of carbonation under the control of Eligio Bishop. When I left home in 2017, five days after my 24th birthday to join carbonation, I was excited to pursue a lifestyle focused on growth and community. Bishop said we have to be the change we want to see in the world. We are the ones that are the creators of peace and harmony here on earth. And I believed him. At first, I felt empowered. I thought, finally, I found the answers to all of my life's questions. Finally, my prayers for a brighter future have been answered. Never did I ever imagine the trauma I would go through in some of the most beautiful locations in the world. But now I know he used the natural beauty of those places to attract young people who weren't fully aware of their own beauty and potential so that he could exploit them. Under the guise of a spiritual journey, he inspired many of us to drop out of school, to stop pursuing our own passions, to cut off any ties to our identity, including our name, our family, and young children, and to trust only in what he provided for us. He knew exactly how to make every person he recruited feel special, like they had something great to contribute to the community. He love-bombed us, especially the women, so that he could slowly gain our trust. He waited until I trusted him and had developed a friendship with the woman he was with to lure me in to his tent with him, saying he would, we would just watch a movie while he came to take something that was so valuable to me only so he could use it to hang over my head every single day. He said my soul belonged to him and there was absolutely no saying no to him. I was trapped psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and physically while Bishop went live regularly on social media to brag about his power and control over each and every one of us. 
He said he was God and we were his servants and slaves. As he continued to get more and more drunk off the attention and power, he saw himself as untouchable. No one was going to hold Bishop accountable, and so he would only drink bigger and more violent, while many of us under his control got sucked into the nightmare of his world. Slowly but surely, the lines became blurred, and he made changes to the rules and roles of everyone as he saw fit. Suddenly, we were bowing at his feet because he said it was for our own good. Then we were publicly shamed and humiliated as he made us relive our childhood traumas and traumatic memories, forcing us to talk about it on live streams for thousands of people to see. Finally, he controlled all of the relationships for his own sexual deviance. I'll never forget after me and my husband had our child and he told us we couldn't be together. He made me move out of the room with my husband and child and into the room across from his, against my will, and he told me because he broke my virginity that I belonged to him. I was his property, and I had to have sex with him. He would walk in as I was getting dressed and talk about me sexually. At that time, I was married and a mother to a two-year-old that he didn't care. He restricted me from seeing my husband and our child so that I could, what he called, focus on him. What meant, uh, that meant catering to his every need, whether that be helping him get dressed every morning, brushing his teeth, giving him massages, cooking his meals, doing sexual favors while he recorded video, and sending him new photos of myself. What God wanted, we were required to give, no matter what, and we had to give it with a smile like we enjoyed it. I and so many other women there had no choice but to give up our own right to make decisions and disregard our authentic thoughts and feelings because he said that we didn't have our own mind and needed to replace our thoughts with his. There were consequences if we didn't listen and follow his instruction exactly. At first we were just instructed to do squats and push-ups, then it escalated to being isolated in the closet for days at a time and standing in the corner naked for at least three hours and eventually he would introduce extreme verbal and physical punishment. After all, all these people coming to join his life since becoming Nature Boy, and then, though none of us were forced to come, every single one of us was deceptively, deceptively recruited. We trusted him and thought he had our best interests, and he knew this. No one volunteered to be taken advantage of emotionally, financially, physically, spiritually, or psychologically. I would have never joined Carbonation in 2017 if I knew that in 2020, Bishop would order other women to beat me until I cur curled up in a fetal position in order to surrender. I would have never joined in 2017 if I knew that I would be forced to watch as he beat a woman in front of all of us on the 4th of July of 2020 during a picnic in the park. I would have never joined if I knew that he would eventually separate other men from the women so that he could force every woman to have sex with him whether they wanted to or not. Or if I would have known we would be ordered to slap and jump others. Or if I knew that he would have the final say on every aspect of our lives from food to clothes to where we would, could go or sleep or where we could, if we could take a walk or if we could leave the group, we would need permission and that we couldn't we wouldn't be able to go anywhere by ourselves. I never would have joined if I knew that. I would live in fear every day, not knowing who he would hurt that day, who he would order us to hurt, or if I would be hurt that day. All it took was for someone to have what he would call an attitude, or for them to slightly resist him. He often responded to any resistance from the women with whipping them with a leather belt over and over while he laughed and made the rest of us watch. He would make us lay flat on our stomachs while he walked around in a rage, taunting us, degrading us, kicking us and stomping on us, beating us into submission. He said we were his property and that he could do anything he wanted to us. No one was coming to save us in these foreign countries. He said no one cared about black girls like us, not in America or anywhere else. If we told anyone we would be being disloyal, betraying the Christ, the Messiah, we would be going against God. In fact, we should be grateful that we get to be in his life, he said. No one else loved us like he did. He said, he said he loved to dominate us and being able, and the feeling of being able to hurt us or kill us at any moment. He said that if he killed us, no one would know or care. So I pushed myself every day to stay on my best behavior in order to survive because my son needed a mother and I didn't want to die. 
I'm your noble person. There always seems to be another excuse to why we needed to be, be abused that he called discipline. He told us that we were doing it to ourselves and if we ever questioned him, he made sure that we would never think to do that again. And he made an example out of us. Sometimes he would remind us all of the good times we spent together, all the beautiful places we saw, like the waterfalls in Mexico and the beaches in Puerto Rico, all of the music we made and the celebrations and dances we had. He often guilt-tripped us, even while he's been in jail, he's tried to intimidate us. For years he gaslit us into thinking maybe he wasn't that bad. Maybe this wasn't so bad. It took months for me to stop blaming myself for the abuse and the sexual assault. With support from those in my life that truly love me, I was able to finally stop protecting my abuser and speak up about what happened to me and so many other young people. It's a shame even young children were involved as well and not everyone made it out safely and alive. I never willingly joined the destructive sex cult, but in the end I learned that. That is exactly what it was. I, like so many others, wanted to make a positive impact in the world, not to be hurt, abused, and used, exploited by a VGO bishop. So many people have prayed for this day where justice is finally being served. And I thank everyone who heard us and who saw us and who fought for our freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Pepper, do you have any questions? I have no questions. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Ms. Marquez, are you driving or are you a passenger? You have to unmute. Here, oh, sorry. Try it again. There you go. All right. Are you a passenger in a car? No, I'm just sitting in the okay. car. It's the quietest place for me. Okay. No worries. As long as you're not driving. Okay. Uh, Elvin, if you could raise your right hand. And you swear or affirm the evidence you'll give to the court today will be the truth, so help you God? I do. Now you can put your hand down if you'll just introduce yourself again. I'm Velvet Marquez. Velvet, did you want to address the judge as she considers an appropriate sentence for Mr. Bishop? Sure, yes. Okay, please go ahead and tell her what you'd like to tell her. First of all, I just want to thank you for your time, for your patience, because it was drawn out for a very long time. I'm counting years. And everything that Kendra just said, she literally, she put it in a nutshell. And moving forward from it all and trying to heal from it all and knowing that I was targeted from a spiritual standpoint, I've literally had to like get myself comfortable so that I can understand what the Bible is, who God is, who Jesus is to me. I really had to like unravel myself from thinking that an actual person was here as the second coming of Christ. And I know that may sound absurd to a lot of people because a lot of people have spiritual backgrounds, but I was searching for who God meant to me in my life at the time of Jordan. So, now that everything is settling and I have three children of my own, it's an uphill battle every day because I've literally witnessed Elihio Bishop threatening to kill me and my child on multiple occasions. He said that my life is over if he had ever saw me again. So every day I wake up, especially when on on Lying social media club from other people that follow him, they leave in death threats as well. And one of the most recent ones I was I got was they couldn't um th that the person said that they would be sitting outside my home address just to take a picture of me and my now newborn just to put it on social media. So every where I go, people know me because of this. They know the humiliation. Everybody saw the, the revenge porn that he put out of me and Kendra and myself. People have, this has been public and it literally, I wouldn't even say destroy our lives, but at times it has 
literally felt like he was trying to destroy our lives, even through our own families. And what breaks my heart the most and that I have to be strong for and continue to be strong for is the children. Because the children were severely impacted by all of this. They will never know their fathers. Not only that, the men that are the fathers of our child, we now have to look at them and, and see them as another niche boy because, or Elihio Bishop, because they're all, they all carry some of the same behaviors. Courtney Townsend is the father of my dad's child, and he has some of the same characteristics as Elihio Bishop, and I have to now protect my family, my child, his child from himself. And these men around us, we don't know if we can trust them. I don't know if I can trust them. I can't trust the fathers of my children. And knowing that my child is going to have to grow up with me and I'm going to have to explain to my child how, when, where, why, that is a lot as a responsibility. And I'm glad that the verdict has come back to what it is for it, what it what is worth. Because our lives will never be the same. My life will never be the same. My daughter's life will never be the same. My son's life will never be the same. I have to go file protection orders and do all of these things to, to make sure that I'm protected. As a woman and child, that's not okay. You're, you're targeting women and children at this point. And so the young men who follow Nature Boy, who follow Elijah Bishop, this is what happens to you when you harm people that you are, that's innocent. And I want to thank Kendra. And I want to tell you that I've always thought she was a beautiful young woman. And so I have you, Brianna. And so have I, Aya, and everybody else. It was the environment that kept me away because I said no. And I was being physically abused for it every single day. And the only reasons why I came back, all the reasons why I came back to combination so many times was because I was under the impression that we were gonna make it work for Eliana, our daughter, because that's what it was about. And it was about Solar child that he had with with Janae, with Janae uh, and with Zoka. And it was about your child, Kendra, that you had with Erin. And it was about your everybody's child, everybody's children should have been protected. And everybody should have been protected. And I'm just grateful for everybody who who continued to support us and fought on our behalf to bring all of this to the light, which I'm really not surprised because Nature Boy and Nikki Bishop have already put everything out for everybody to see. And so I thank everybody again. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Um, do you have any questions? No, sorry. Okay. Are you driving, Brianna? I am driving right now. Would you be able to find somewhere to pull over? Um, yes, one second. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Sorry. The other, that's okay. We'll move on to one of the other folks. And then my baby's crying. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna mute you until you're, um, until you find somewhere to park, okay? And we'll call, okay. on, we'll call on somebody else. All right. Okay. No, 30 seconds, Your Honor. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. If I have any other sure. witnesses, thank you. Solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you'll present to the court to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. Um, State your name for the court, please. Janine Noel. Janine, have you prepared a statement you want to read to the judge before she considers sentence? Yes. All right. You can go ahead. First, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the judge and to the court for giving me and many other victims chance to be heard after finding our own voice. Thank you to God, the real living God that lives within us all. You've made this possible and your presence is noticed in all this. And even to Mr. Booker for doing your best for trying and giving him a fair trial. But we all know Mr. 
the bishop is not there. Mr. Bishop Babaji has been a monster to us all, and we try to see the best in him. He has tortured all of our souls and said he was sent us to the abyss if we ever defied him. He made us believe that he was Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And for that, that alone is punishable. I hope this opens his eyes. And I, and I pray that the people who are there with him are set free themselves so they can stop living in the illusion that this man has placed on our minds. When I first came across carbonation, I thought I had a family. And I thought I could live free and fulfill our mission with the people that was appointed to be the gods and goddesses on earth. But it was torture for me. I cried at night and trembled that day. Alivia, you made us to be liars when we lived in truth, wanted to live in truth. The harassment was dress dreadful for me, especially around my pregnancy. You demolished Elihio. You demolished our connection with God just so you can be God. And you haunted our dreams like the monster you are. You damaged us all. You confused us all. You made love something we should be fearing. And abuse was looked as normal for us and it was not supposed to be. The very people you promised to help, you tarnished and you destroyed us. You truly didn't care about us till today. To me and many others, he was a guy a judge in court. He was a teacher. He was a lover. He was a friend. For us, the members of Carver Nation, he was a prophet. And he was supposed to be good for change, but he turned into a whole nasty demon who had sex with us whenever he pleased, when, even if we didn't want to. Made us ignore the children around just so he could get more attention. That wasn't fair to the mothers.
Okay, sorry, I'm trying to get my baby situated. No, you're fine. Yes, sir. Brianna Jacobs. What do you want to tell Judge Bybridge if she considers an appropriate sentence for Mr. Bishop? Um, I feel like the ones before me said most of, like, they really did a good job explaining themselves and what we went through while being in this situation. For my, on my behalf, I just want to say thank you to the judge and I'm glad that we're finally getting justice after, for myself, seven years of being involved with this person that we did view as our Messiah at the time. Um, it's years that we'll never get back. And, sorry. I just pray that throughout this whole situation that the ones that are still involved in the situation will regain their minds back. That's who I pray for the most right now. Because I understand where they are and I hope this is the opportunity for them to break free from the spell that they're under. And even for myself, it took a while to realize why I even involved myself in a situation like this and what in me attracted these scenarios and why I even viewed him as a god at one point in my life. But one thing that I did from the situation is I found the true God. And And I feel like that's the best thing that I got from the situation. But yeah, I feel like I really don't have much to say. Um, I'm just glad that justice is being served for all of us. And yeah. Tomorrow, 
I'll just mute your off.
And it wasn't, bro. It wasn't. It's the only thing that's kept me here standing strong to this day. So, regardless of how people view me to this day from what we've done, um, I'm on a road to my own soul redemption, and I'm willing to do the work that it takes for me to become the best version of myself so that one day I can be the man for my children that, you know, I know I'm supposed to be. Not not the man that you were. And not trying to become the man, a man like you or a man like me. And uh, thank you for everything. I just want to say something to all of them. Well, I just want to say. No, I, just direct, direct it to me, please. Not to I'll, I'll direct it to you. I'll direct it to you. Okay. <clears throat> Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm not answering any questions of yours, sir. I forgive you. I forgive you. And I still love you. I forgive you and I still love you. I got no nothing in my heart. I'm not mad at you. I'm not upset with you. I forgive you. I want you to know I still love you and forgive you. And kiss my baby girl and let her know I love her. And I love y'all. I will never, I don't, I don't have no, I promise you, you know how I am. In my heart, you know how I am. I still love you. I still fuck with you. Love you. All right. I still. I got that. I don't hate you. Okay. Don't hate you. Is there anything else? My heart is light. Light as a feather. I promise you, I love you, and I'm still here. I I ain't miss one lick. I see what y'all doing, and I want you to know, I forgive you. And I see y'all in the end. Thank you. I love you. I love. We're asking for
in that regard. Um, but I hope you all are able to move on at some point and, and find some peace, whatever that is for you. Um, so with that, um, I am going to follow the recommendation of the state in this case. On the rape, he'll be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, followed by Yeah, it goes on to the 
next page. Oh, credit for time served. Oh my gosh, yes. Credit for time served from the date of his arrest, which was... Sir, from the date of his arrest, he hasn't. I mean, he hasn't been out on bond, so whatever that was. Okay. 